The views expressed on this program are purely those of Richard Lawrence. He contains explicit and insults that may be offensive, abusive, or downright mean to some individual, entities, groups, or organizations. You should not listen if you are easily insulted, overly sensitive, lack a sense of humor, or just have a stick up your <coughs> If you go on and you are offended by this video or audio, we really don't give a <coughs> as this is a frequent occurrence. We have set up an email to which you may submit all your complaints. The email address is please at foff.com. That's please at fof. Com. As this is only meant for intelligent, honest, open mind person, viewers and listener discretion is strongly advised. Enjoy! Welcome to Richard's Report. Statistics. Basically, math. Now, what is the one thing coming from everyone's face? Coronavirus. That's right. For some, just the name. And for others like Tom Hanks, the actual COVID-19 coronavirus. We are all trying to get an handle on this situation. Although many of us have not been particularly kind. Beating people for sneezing on buses. Hello! There was coughing and sneezing before COVID-19. For example, sneezing is a way to get people to bless you. Many places have also been declared disaster areas like Jamaica and Texas but I wonder why isn't it that the why wasn't the entire United States of America declared a disaster area once Donald J Trump was elected president COVID-19 has not only become a buzzword she has brought many words beside her like social distancing don't touch me and my favorite it's not me it's you coronavirus has gotten everyone talking take me for example I have not uploaded a single video from November when this virus broke out and see the coronavirus get, got me to get up off my ass and do it another group who are talking is the religious ones for example, Christians believe that this is the events prophesied in Revelations. Personally, I don't believe it is much of a prediction to say human fuckery will come back to fuck human. That's not a prediction, that's an inevitability. It's like someone saying, one day Trump will stop being president. Yes, it's a good thought, no kidding. When his, his term is finished, of course, he could be elected for a second term. But still, surely, he'll leave after that. But, then again, he could use his Article 2 or his Executive Order to amend the Constitution to make him President for life. It would be like a Pope. You can't, be, you can't elect a new Pope until the old one dies or step down. And let's face it. Donald Trump will not be stepping down. If that fails, then he could capture and release COVID-19 weekly. Sorry folks, there has been a, a COVID coronavirus outbreak. We can't hold elections. But wait, there's death. Surely that will get rid of him for us unless he discovers a way to preserve his brain in a jar using his natural abilities although he wouldn't be the same president without his hands and arms to flap like a bird trying to take off but not to worry he will give the job uh, of carrying the jar around to Jared Kushner all we need to do is wait for him to drop it then Trump's brains will slowly die on the floor I am going to use some statistics to make some prediction re this coronavirus now please note these predictions may not be kind but math never promised to be kind Jamaica has handled this situation well in my opinion but who hasn't well Italy and America 
On March 19, Italy's death toll surpassed China's, becoming the world, becoming the country with the highest number of uh, corona deaths in the world. By this time, they had the second highest number of cases. As for America, they moved from sixth in the world on March 18 to fifth on March 19 to fourth on March 21st to third on March 22nd. A rise of 14,550 new cases on March 22nd, some 9,000 more than the 4,000. 824 new cases recorded on the previous day 14,550 would be a 60% increase when compared to the previous total or 37.5% of the total total Italy on the other hand went from 35,713 on March 18 to 41,035 on March 19 to 47,021 on March 20th to 53,578 on March 21st to 59,138 on March 22nd God help us to these countries fighting for the top spots in a pandemic I say calm down now I've looked this data up and down and I have to say I expect the numbers to increase my model predicts that by March 26th Italy will will have more cases than China who now have a handle on the situation recording between zero and double digits as of March 17. America, according to the same model, will surpass China's total between March 27th and 29. This disease is out of control. But look at the bright side. Look at the bright side, period. That's it. Once you figure out what that bright side is, let me know in the comments below all i know is we are all going to die and i haven't even had a threesome thanks for watching see you next time